Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're adding and subtracting mixed fractions in a math drills worksheet. This can be found on mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below. Now with this, we have some mixed numbers here and we're just supposed to add these together and then express in lowest terms when we're done. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm not gonna start with number one. Instead, I'm gonna start with, oh, there's actually some subtraction, add and subtract. Uh, we are going to start with, let's do number 12. So how do we do this? Well, if we're adding fractions by themselves, fairly simple process. We add the numerators and we keep the denominators the same. If they're, they have the same denominator, if they have a common denominator. So we'd add the numerators here and that'd be four and we keep the denominator the same, that'd be four tenths. But we have these two. So that's two holes each in each one of those numbers, those mixed numbers, with a little bit left over. That's the fraction portion, okay? So you have a whole number two with a portion left over. So what we do first is, well, I already added the fractions. That's usually a good second step. But what you can do first is you add these whole numbers together. So two plus two would give us four. I'm gonna change color here just so you can see it differentiate a little bit more. And then we have one tenth plus three tenths, and that's equal to four tenths. So our complete final answer would be four and four tenths, okay? That would be our answer. Um, now, that's not gonna be completely done because it also asks for lowest terms. So what I need to do here is I need to simplify the fraction. Anytime you can simplify a fraction, go ahead and do it. So I already said this is the fraction we need to simplify. Let me change color here. That can be uh, simplified. How do you simplify? You look for common factors. What can you divide the top number and the bottom number by? What number? Okay. Uh, we could divide the top number by four, but 10 is not divisible by four. So we're going to choose two here. And that gives us two fifths. So our final answer, final, final answer this time is four and two fifths. So that's how you add uh, mixed fractions. That's one of the ways you can add. I'm going to show another way later on this video in case you're curious for that. But I'm going to go over a couple different, more difficult examples, I guess you could say. Number one is an example of that. So with number one, we have the whole numbers out in front first. We're going to start there. So we're going to do two plus one, and that's three. So two plus one, that's equal to three. Okay, now with the fraction port, portion of this, I have 9 over 11 plus 2 over 11. Well, what is that equal to? That's, well, our denominator is going to stay the same. And then 9 plus 2 is 11. Now, I'm I, you're not going to write 3 and 11 elevenths because no one ever says 11 elevenths because it's equal to 1. So essentially what I have going on here is I have 3 and 11 elevenths, which is 3 plus 11 elevenths. Or we just said it's 3 plus 1. So I should erase this. That's not my final answer. So my final answer is actually 4. Okay, so we had 1 here. We had 2 here. So that's 3 holes. And then 9 11 plus 2 11 is another hole, which is 4 whole fractions, which is the number 4. Okay. Number 5. Pretty straightforward. Uh, instead of addition this time, we're doing subtraction. So we're going to do 3 minus 1. That gives us 2. But we also need to do this with our fraction, okay? So we need to do 3 fourths minus 1 fourth, okay? So I'm going to set this aside and then do my, my uh, fraction later. And then I have 2 fourths. So I have 2 and 2 fourths, which I'm not going to write as my final answer. Anytime you can, you should notice that... We might be able to divide the top number and bottom number by the same number to reduce it by the same factor. In this case, top factor two, always try the top number for both to make it reduced. And we get one over two. So that's two and a half as our final answer. If you need help with reducing, I do believe I have a video on that. Let's go over this one. If we have two and one ninth, two minus two and one ninth, well, we do 2 minus 2, that gives us 0. So now it's left to the fraction to see if we have anything left over. 1 ninth minus 1 ninth is 0 ninths, or just 0. So our final answer is going to be 0. We have 0 plus 0, and that is 0. Because essentially what a mixed number is, is it's this whole number plus this mixed uh, fraction, or sorry, that uh, fraction there. So that's a 2 and 1 ninth. Okay, so 2 1 ninth is a mixed number. So you're essentially adding those two fractions. That's what I was trying to get to. Okay, uh, let's do this one real fast. We have 9 plus 7. That gives us 16. And then we also have 1 half plus 1 half. That gives us 1 because that's 2 
halves, and that's one, so then we have 16 plus one, 17. So that's the process of this, and you can see you can get pretty quick at it. The real trick is, and I'm not gonna cover it in this video, is if you get a number, for example, if you have seven eighths plus five eighths, like two and seven, eight, seven eighths plus one and five eighths, which not in this video, but I'm gonna maybe future video. This is gonna be a little different because you're gonna have another number bigger than one, okay? So stay tuned for a video on that. Um, I did say that I was gonna show another way to do this problem. It is better when you have smaller numbers, whole numbers, okay? This is a good method for when you have different uh, denominators. Sorry, I should uh, highlight the denominator. If you have different denominators, it's a really good technique. But this is when you convert to an improper fraction. So I cover this in another video. To get an improper fraction, we're going to multiply the denominator times the whole. So that is 11 times 1. And then we're going to add the numerator. And we're going to keep the denominator the same. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this in green actually and change this color. Or I can just write 11, just highlight it too. Okay, there we go. We'll keep the denominator the same. And the same goes for this guy. We're going to do 11 times 1, this times the whole number. And then we add the number that's already in the top, that one right there. Okay, so just to make it a little bit more clear, we add that number, add that number. Okay, so what is our final answer here? Well, we're going to have 11 plus 9, that's 20 elevenths, plus, this is going to be 11 times 1 is 11, plus 1 is 12 elevenths. And then we get 32 elevenths. From here, you need to convert. Okay, so if you're really good at understanding multiples, this is a good method for you. But I know there's two holes in that, okay, because two takes me to 22 elevenths. Okay, so 22 elevenths, and then how much do I have left over to get to 32? I would have 10 elevenths left over, because 22, let me highlight it actually, 22 plus 10 gives me 32. I'm looking for uh, whole numbers first. These, are, This is my whole number. 2, and basically I'm looking for numbers that multiply uh, by 11 to get to that whole number. So multiples of 11. So 22 is a multiple 11, and then we have 10 11s left over. This is a good me uh, method for later on. I know you're probably looking at this being like, ah, oh, this looks super complicated. Um, so if you like the first way I did it, that's a great way to do it for simple problems, especially in middle school. When you get to high school, improper fractions is kind of the way to go. Um, but that's all there is to adding and subtracting mixed fractions. If you have any uh, more questions on this particular worksheet, let me know in the comment section or if you want me to cover something else, uh, a specific worksheet or another uh, concept, also leave a comment. And either way, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.